Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to do a review on the Breville Fast Slow Pro Pressure Cooker. Now I found a pretty good deal on this unit and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. So I was looking for a really good quality pressure cooker, um, something that would last a long time, that worked well, that would uh, replace a lot of the things that I use in the kitchen on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, day basis. I've owned other Breville products in the past and as as you may know, they're usually known for their very good quality and reliability. I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, this one is no exception. It's built exceptionally well. It works exceptionally well. It looks nice, and it just it's made um, almost with like an Apple-like quality. Just very user-friendly, very everything you need, nothing you don't kind of thing. Um, with a lot of really handy features and I'll go into those more here in a sec. So here's the big thing that kind of sold me on this unit and why I like it the most. The first thing is that it has um, multiple modes. It has a lot of different modes that it can do. It can steam, it can slow cook, it can simmer, it can saute, it has a keep warm feature. Um, so it's not just a pressure cooker. One nice thing about it, and the big thing is, since you can saute right in it, you don't need to, to dirty another pan or hassle with that on the stove. You can do it right in the bottom of the pressure cooker and brown your meat or saute your vegetables, whatever you're using, and then uh, use the pressure cooker feature of it right after that without having to dirty another pan. About the pan too, it's non-stick and it works really good. It cleans up real easy and it's dishwasher safe, which is really handy. It basically takes all the guesswork out of pressure cooking too. It's completely safe. There's like a triple locking mechanism inside of it. It's all computer controlled, so you don't have to worry about the heat or anything. It basically takes all the guesswork out of pressure cooking, which is really nice. And if you've never pressure cooked before, basically you can cook meats, soups, um, things like that. But the big thing is like your meats, you can cook a roast in about a half hour to 40 minutes that would take you four or five hours normally and it'll come out quite a bit more tender honestly it really does work good I don't know all the science behind it but all I know is that it does turn out really really good and tender the LCD control on the front is really handy it's very simple to use it's very intuitive it takes all the guesswork out of what you're trying to do it just works well all in all, I really like it and I really recommend it. If you have any more questions or anything like about that, just uh, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.